Hi, I'm Kim Gazier for Jerry Baker, America's Master Gardener. Today we're going to explain how to get the most out of your hose end sprayers to keep your lawn and garden in tip top shape. Now, we're often asked, what exactly is a hose end sprayer? Well, I brought a set of three such sprayers with me to demonstrate what they are and how to use them. The set includes a 20 gallon fertilizer sprayer that has a green sprayer head on it, a 20 gallon weed and herbicide sprayer that has a red sprayer head on it, and a six gallon insecticide sprayer that has a blue sprayer head on it. Now each sprayer is made of high impact, unbreakable plastic with easy to use mixing instructions printed on the one quart sprayer jar. The sprayer heads are specifically calibrated so that the contents of the sprayer jar are sucked up into the siphon tube uniformly where they're mixed with the correct amount of water for application to your lawn and garden. So in the case of a 20 gallon sprayer, the one quart of tonic or fertilizer that's in the sprayer jar is mixed with 20 gallons of water that passes through the sprayer head. That's why it's called a 20 gallon hose end sprayer. And in case of the six gallon hose end sprayer, the one quart of tonic in the sprayer jar is mixed with six gallons of water in just the same way. Also, each hose end sprayer has an easy on off thumb switch and a black removable tip that's used for either wide or high stream applications. That's all there is to it. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I ever need three separate sprayers? Well, the reason is because you don't want to harm your plants by applying the wrong type of tonic to them. For instance, herbicides can leave a residue in the sprayer jar or in the sprayer head, even if they've been thoroughly cleaned out. And if you use that same sprayer the next time to apply fertilizer, you might just end up applying a little leftover herbicide to your prize winning petunias. And that, my friends, would be a disaster. So make sure you stick to a fertilizer in your green sprayer weed killer in your red sprayer, and insecticides in your blue sprayer. These hose end sprayers are perfect for applying just about any liquid lawn and garden treatment, and especially Jerry Baker's world famous do-it-yourself tonics. All you've got to do is mix the ingredients in the sprayer jar, or you can use a bucket or separate container depending upon the tonic, and then add the correct amount of tonic to the sprayer jar following the instructions on the back side. Now let's see how the sprayers work. Once you've got your tonic in the sprayer jar, go ahead and set it aside while you connect the sprayer head to your hose. You want to make sure the connection is nice and secure so that no water leaks out. And then once it is, you want to make sure the on-off switch is in the off position. Then turn on the water. You'll feel a sudden surge of pressure as the hose fills with water. And all you've got to do is simply attach the sprayer head to the sprayer jar. As you can see, it screws on very easily, and you're good to go. As far as applications go, you'll want to leave the black tip on the sprayer head to get a nice, wide, even application that will cover a lot of ground in a hurry. You can use this tip on your lawn, your flowers, your vegetable garden, or anything else that's low growing and requires a nice, gentle, even spray. And while you're spraying, you want to make sure that you will always apply any tonic or treatment to the point of runoff. In other words, until the tonic is running off on the plant. If you want to give your trees and taller shrubs a little TLC, then just remove the black tip from the sprayer head and you'll get a nice steady stream of tonic or treatment that will shoot upwards of 15 feet in the air. Again, you do it in a nice, uniform, consistent manner, making sure you cover all of the area that needs to be covered. And that, folks, is all there is to it. Here are a couple of special tips. First. Always put an old golf ball in each of your sprayer jars and leave them in there. The golf balls will bounce around as you move through your yard, keeping the contents thoroughly mixed. It will also help prevent any buildup of debris that could clog the sprayer as you're trying to work. Also folks, it's very important to remember that applying any sort of treatment or tonic to your lawn and garden is definitely not a spectator sport. So please make sure that your spouse, kids, and the dog are safely inside 
or not anywhere near the area that you're spraying. If you use these hose end sprayers properly, you'll be able to give your lawn and garden the food, tonic, and medicines they need to make sure that the greenest grass, prettiest flowers, and most mouth-watering veggies end up on your side of the fence. Thanks for joining us, and see you next time for more of Jerry Baker's terrific tips, tricks, and tonics. And as always, good luck and good gardening. To order your own set of all-weather, indestructible Jerry Baker hose end sprayers, please visit jerrybaker.com.